Um, I have a really beautiful um, image for you when I was shuffling the cards. I see this really tall, big cliff, and I see two people. Um, they look about, you know, 15, 16 years old. Um, they're, I, I can't even make out the genders, but they're like running full speed. And they were thinking like the two of them, when we get to the edge of that cliff, we're going to jump together. And um, underneath the cliff is the sea, the ocean. And then above it is just, you know, it's just a cliff. It goes off. And so these two young people are just like, when we get to that cliff, we're going to jump. And so the two of you kind of race towards the edge of that cliff. And then when you both jump, one person falls into the water and becomes a fish and starts swimming around and they're happy. And then the other person soars into the sky and grows wings and, you know, becomes a bird and they're happy. So what I feel is uh, happening with this imagery is I definitely feel you and another person have taken a major, major plunge into doing something that you were, uh, you felt like if, as long as we're in it together, everything would be okay. As long as we have each other, everything would be okay. So we're going to take this giant leap of faith and just trust that everything is going to be okay. And um, I almost see a situation where there was a lot of idealism and a lot of wishful thinking. Okay, like uh, one does not jump off a cliff and that high or that far off the ground and expect to be okay. And I also feel like there might have been a relationship where the two of you, you and another person, um, it's like you love each other, you have the best intentions, but the two of you are or were too young to handle the practical responsibilities in that relationship. Okay, so here's what I'm feeling with the spread. I definitely see two people as well. We have here the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. Page of Cups and the Page of Pentacles, both in the reverse position. Having the best intentions, but not really sure if we have the sustaining power. And what I'm feeling is, um, you know, when I say both parties, I don't feel like was mature enough or realistic enough to handle this relationship. Um, it basically means that you rush into a situation very unprepared. And um, in a practical way, it could be one person was very uh, financially um, dependent on another person. And one person feels like they're carrying the weight of that relationship on their back. The, the financial weight of the relationship, the financial burden of the relationship, having to do everything in the relationship. And it's starting to take its toll. So you're not assigned to keep scores, okay? You, you, when you love... When Piscean people love, you you guys love unconditionally, you would give everything to your relationship partner. And I feel like a lot of the times, too, Piscean people get taken advantage of. And um, I feel like that's what's happening. And it's gotten to the point where it, it the, the burden of the relationship can feel very unbalanced. It seems like one person is shouldering all the the responsibilities, the financial weight, the emotional weight, everything. And it causes you to think back and look at the relationship. It, it causes you to kind of reassess your priorities and reassess whether or not it was the right thing to do. So should I have jumped off the cliff with that person? I'm also seeing there is a, a sense of dissatisfaction with um, with the relationship partner and they might not appreciate or they might not show the appreciation for you. And I feel like you're getting the appreciation from outside of the relationship via your friends, via other people that might be interested in you. And I feel almost like you're wishing your partner could um, show you the same level of appreciation. So there's a little bit of a wandering eye in this relationship. 
if you're wondering if you're like checking your partner's phone or if you're looking at your partner through you know if you're you're checking their social media if you're checking your their emails if you're checking their their phones to make sure like they're not talking to other people i don't feel like they're talking to other people okay and so you kind of have to ask yourself uh, where are the insecurities or the uh, suspicions coming from? Because I feel like they're, they're, they have been kind of withdrawn or distant, and then you're getting uh, really positive attention from suitors as well outside of the relationship. And so you're, you might be projecting. So I feel like there's uh, trust issues, and I, I feel as well, um, there's like this overall dissatisfaction in the relationship because somebody's shouldering the responsibilities and they feel like their their partner is not doing their fair share to chip in. I also feel for many of you, if you are, you know, recently, if you have recently left a relationship, you are healing for sure. Like you're healing from it. You're starting to date again. And you are looking around at the choices and the options. And I feel like somebody really catches your eyes, okay? Somebody is really out there um, kind of, um, some, somebody really stands out. You have multiple options. I see an older person and I feel like it might be an air sign, an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. And um, I feel like this person's older than you. And I feel like this is a person that wants exclusivity. I mean, they're they're not in it just to, you know, have fun, have one night stand, have short term flings. I feel like they've been through a lot and they're looking for something a little bit more certain. And so if you're like, um, if you're not ready for that, I feel like you kind of need to tell them they they know. And I feel like they, they want a commitment, okay? They want a commitment, and they're going to need that commitment. Um, so I feel like they, they would know, and if they have ghosted you, if they have stopped communicating, it's because they're looking for something a little bit more solid. And they want a partner that is a little bit more decisive, okay? Because let's be honest, you guys can be very indecisive. And so I feel like this is a partner that is looking for something a little bit more concrete, a little bit more timely as well, because they're not going to be waiting around. So if this is somebody that you have encountered in your dating environment, I feel like they're, they're definitely interested in a lot more. Um, they're not going to, you know, uh, serenade you outside of your window or bring you trinkets and gifts and things like that. I feel like with them, their word is golden. And so if, if, if that is something that you want, you have to show the person that you're interested, okay? Um, I'm seeing as well, you have a lot of options when it comes to your career, okay? So like work, career, promotions, and things like that. Where you are staying, I don't see a lot of job satisfaction where you are currently. People around you really like you. You're doing really good work. And I feel like there might be mounting responsibilities. So if there has been, you know, it's the holiday season. A lot of people are going on uh, leave, taking vacation and, you know, things like that. So there might be a lot of responsibilities passed on to you and you're handling everything with grace and you're going to get a lot of positive uh, accolades as a result of that. OK, and so I feel like, you know, you have an opportunity to shine here, but I just feel generally um, you might not be 100 percent in love with the work that you're doing and in the past you have looked at other options like um should i move should i you know apply for this should i apply for that and for whatever reason things were at a stall like um they were at a standstill like you might not have gotten feedback this is the week where you're going to be hearing back from some of the, these places that you have applied to and this is also the week where there's going to be opportunities for you to transition into something else but i feel like you know the important message here is don't Stay in a situation because it feels comfortable. Push yourself out of your comfort zone. 
Some of you have flirted with relocation for a really long time. I honestly feel like 10 years, but you just, you, you look around and you're like, I haven't found another place that I really want to be in. So I feel like once again, you, you looked, but a lot of the times we have to think about the purpose Okay, the purpose. So for example, if you're not happy where you are, and you're like scanning the horizon, right, and you're looking at so many places, you could be inundated with just a lot of choices and options. And you don't know which option to go with. So you want to narrow it down to purpose. Okay, in my next move, for example, I want to have a community of people I want to be in an environment where I can be more, you know, physically active. So I need a place with like a lot of hiking trails or a lot of, um, you know, outdoor activity. So, for example, if you narrow it down like that, think of it in terms of purpose. OK, or like I want I, I, I like, you know, the season. So I want to be in a place where things are not the same year round where, you know, in the winter time, there's snow in the summertime, there's sun. And so thinking about what you're interesting in, uh, interested in, excuse me, and thinking about what you want your life to look like, think about it in terms of purpose, that will help you narrow down your options when it comes to geographical location. Because I honestly feel like a lot of people have been in one place for like 10 years and they've been contemplating a move for like 10 years. And um, I feel like for you, some of you, it could be like since October time frame. But I honestly feel like you have been in a place for a really long time and you need to move. But every time you think about moving, um, you're not looking for the for the next location with the right intention. Does that make sense? Um, and I'm also feeling like, you know, the same energy with the work situation. You want work with a purpose. Okay? It's not just about the money. It's not just about relocating to a new city. You want to do work where you matter. And honestly, I feel like many of you, you want to help people you almost have that Aquarian quality about you. You want to help people. You want to alleviate um, problems for other people. And you want to make money while you're at it. But like you want to help people. You want work that is meaningful. You don't want to just, you know, stack up money or like, you know, um, build up wealth just for the sake of building up wealth. Job satisfaction means a lot to you guys. And sometimes being a Pisces, it can be really difficult to find a sense of direction. And that is why you need to narrow down everything that you do by thinking about your objectives and thinking about your purpose and thinking about that end goal. What am I hoping to achieve? And then trace the steps from that end point. Okay. So for example, if I want to be physically fit, I want a place where I can do a lot of outdoorsy things. You might want to move to like Colorado, for example. And on the other hand, I want to be in an environment where, you know, there are a lot of like banking institutions, a lot of, uh, um, nonprofit organizations and a lot of just, um, the, you know, like it's like a central hub for people from all over the world, then you might want to move to New York. Okay. So like thinking about purpose. So I'm not going to dwell on it too much, but I definitely feel many of you have been thinking about a change and you're not really, um, you're thinking about it, but I don't see the actions being taken and it's time to really, you know, it, not only just to set your intentions, but it's time for you to start moving. It's time for you to start moving. And it's time for you to not be afraid, okay? Um, so going back to the relationship aspect again, because uh, that's calling me back to these two cards. Page of Cups, Page of Pentacles. 
And, you know, when I saw that one person, you know, flew into the air, grew wings and became a bird, and then the other person grew, you know, gills or scales and became a fish, it seems to me as if you and another person have very, very different objectives. And that might be why, like, if you're contemplating the next job or the next move, you're with somebody that might want different things out of life. And your ways of doing things are very different. And so there is lack of compatibility and lack of mutual understanding as to where one another is coming from as well. And so you, there's a lot of love I'm sensing. But it feels almost like it's really hard to build a future with this person. It's really hard to work together because one is a, a land creature and the other is a sea creature. Okay, literally page of pentacles and page of cups and when the two of you are when the two of you just are just together like if you're cuddling on the couch or if you're cuddling in bed everything feels beautiful and just blissful but when the two of you the moment when the two of you have to do something together have to get something done then it becomes a nightmare and a lot of it has to do with just the fact that, you know, you have different ideas, you have different values, you have different ways of doing. And so if you are aware of that, and if that concept resonates with you, you have to delegate, you know. So let's say if we're cooking breakfast, I do the eggs, you do the toast. We're not going to mix, you know, responsibilities, okay? So do that. Delegate and, and clearly uh, delegate responsibilities. You take care of this. I don't care how you do it. You just need to do it. And then I'll take care of my things. So I definitely feel like one person is really, really dragging their feet. And then the other person is trying to, you know, get things moving. Um, I'm also getting this um, I. I'm getting this message about somebody who is looking into your financial situation. So for those of you who are going through audits and things like that, I feel like you're trying to find receipts. You're trying to figure out where you left things. You're trying to find things. So there's a lot of that going on. And um, they're, they're really saying, you know, you have to have a better, in, like a better way to keep inventory, a better way to keep your um, to keep track of things, okay, having a better system so that you can remember things. If your memory is not as good as it used to be, you have to learn to write them down. You have to use technology to streamline things or to at least, you know, um, if you have like a budget, put it into Excel. So using the tools at your disposal or using the tools in your immediate environment to make the work easier for you. So there's a way to work smart rather than work hard, okay? Um, so let me see if there's anything else coming into the picture here. Um, singles, I feel like, you know, you're really in a good place to meet a lot of people. And I feel like it's important to see the value in the right things, okay? And be careful for this week. If you are looking at somebody's social media and you don't want them to know, be careful. Or if you want them to know, that's fine. Um, so I feel like... I honestly feel like somebody's exes could... Um, it, it's like being embroil, embroiled in a situation where somebody is like still not done with their ex. And so, for example, if you're on Instagram and you comment on your crushes or your new boyfriend's or girlfriend's um, image and then their ex is still friends with them and, you know, it, it creates like conflict. OK, so just be careful about that just for this week. Um, I'm also sensing as well um, in the work environment, there are some coworkers that that like you. Keep things very professional, okay? They're, they're really, really interested in you. They might just, you know, um, take multiple trips to the water cooler because your desk is right or your office is right by the water cooler. 
And so I feel like you know this, you're aware of it, because um, I feel like they're, they're being very blatant about it. Um, and I feel like it's a source of distraction as well. So close your door, you know, or turn your back. Um, I'm also seeing as well, <laughs> getting unwanted attention. So you have a lot of attention, a lot of suitors, a lot of people coming into the picture. Okay. And um, the last thing that I want to mention is I, I just feel like, you know, that imagery, once you jump off the cliff, you either soar or you're going to swim. You're not going to, you know, uh, crash and burn. Okay. So I feel like if you need to make this move, if you need to change your job, if you need to do like a, a change of scenery, definitely do it because you're going to be divinely protected. And I'm not just saying that just, you know, because it rolls off the tongue. I feel like the next move, the next venture, the next phase, it will have its purpose, but you have to kind of figure out where you want to do, where you want to be, what you want to do first, and then don't stall on it any longer. Okay. I'm going to leave it at that for you, Pisces. So take care of yourself. Okay.